Alright, we may start. This is a good cup. Somewhere down there. You blink. No, not down there. <laughs> ah, Finkleberry. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are doing a get ready with us because we're going to the Sam Smith concert. I know, I know. A lot of waterproof stuff because we're going to cry more than likely. I'm just kidding. So we're trying out some new stuff today. If you guys want to see what look we create, well, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with these eyebrows, you know. With the eyebrows. The eyebrows. Oh, the brows. Going back in with my palette and my two shades to do my eyebrows. The two shades, the brown and the black. Excuse my dogs, they're crazy. I have four. I'm gonna take the ColourPop black and brown brow color. It's a pomade. I don't use it that much mainly because I go for a more natural brow. But today I'm gonna go for a more dramatic brow. I'll be using the Physician Formula Concealer to conceal my eyebrow. I'm gonna take the NARS soft matte complete concealer in vanilla which is light too it comes in a little pot like this so it's good to clean up the brows and stuff but i wouldn't recommend it for like under the eyes because it creases really bad i'm gonna take the nyx control freak eyebrow gel to set them in place okay so we're gonna move on to the eyes now we're gonna prep first you know always gotta always gotta prep Mm -hmm. Never do your eyeshadow without prepping. So to prime my eyes, I'm gonna take the Made it's in French Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Concealer. I will be using, I put the concealer that I did with my eyebrows here, so I'll be using the extra concealer that's there. And then I'll be using the Sephora Universal Powder to set the concealer. I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier loose setting powder and translucent to set my concealer time to do the eyes now you know i will be using the anastasia Beverly hills palette i'm gonna take my favorites kristen dominique lemonade palette from dominique cosmetics this is such a pretty packaging of a palette you know it's it's beautiful and it comes with a beautiful mirror and like beautiful colors i really want to use new teeth mainly because it is one of my favorite own colors i'm just gonna set with that so everything can slide on i'm gonna go in with blur this purple pink looking color on my eyelids i'm gonna go in with mango right here look that mango <laughs> and i'm gonna put that on my crease you just have to be careful because they pretty pigmented so i go in with a really light hand So I'll be going in in my Morphe 25A palette. I'll be using the Use the Brown right here on my crease. I'm gonna go into Sweet Tea right here. It's kind of a more vibrant orange. And I'm gonna go more onto the outer lid and on the crease line. I'm gonna apply it with this brush. This is one of my new favorite brushes because it's flat so you can pack on colors but it's also fluffy so you can blend them out i'm just gonna be packing that on to the outer lid right here and then just bringing it over to the on the crease so now i'll be going into the tart lip palette and i will be using the shade best friend to darken up the crease a little so I'm gonna take the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer to basically do a half cut crease on my lid. I'm gonna go in with Peach right here. It's a sh it's like a orangish pinkish shimmer. Looks like this, like that's a swatch of it. I'm just gonna apply that where I put the concealer and I'm gonna wet my brush before I use it. So I'm gonna conceal my eyelids. So I could put the color blur again on my eyelids, but just so it could show up more. So I'm gonna go back onto my crease and add a little bit more of mango because I feel like it got lost with the orange. 
So I'm gonna go into new T to highlight the brow bone. Well, she's not priming today. That's not necessarily bad, but like if you feel more comfortable, like if you think your foundation looks better that way, that's, you know, it all depends on your skin. So I'm going to take the Farsali Unicorn Essence because I do need to prime, mainly because my skin is very dry. So I'm going to take a serum. Just make sure you have a good setting spray. We're going to move on to the face. So I'm going to conceal using the Maybelline New York Concealer in the shade Sand. I'm going to color correct my dark circles and around my lips. So for around my lips, I'm taking Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Pen in pink. And then for my under eyes in apricot, it's the same one. So I'm taking this beauty blender. It's by Sonia Kashuk. They're really big. So this is it dry and this is it wet. And then that's the Real Techniques <laughs> one. This one's wet. <laughs> So we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 120. You know when I go for a glam look, I usually use the Super Stay foundation and I love this foundation. But right now my skin is a little too dry to be using matte. So I'm gonna go for more dewy finish. Oh no pump! I will be using two foundations today again. So I'll be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in Golden Beige. And this is a new one that I bought. It's the Rimmel London Clean Finish Foundation. Apparently you look 100% poreless. So posy. This is in the shade 340 Nude. And it has vitamins A and E, which mm -hmm. I need. And this, again, comes with the spatula, which is my favorite. Conceal. Concealing. These dark under eye circles of mine still come through. Can't look tired at a Sam Smith concert, you know. Can't look like you cried last night. Mm -mm. You gotta look like you cried that night. I'll be using the same concealer to conceal. I'm gonna take the Age Rewind again. Your dark circles. And this is specifically for that. In sand. So we're gonna contour next. So I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Mocha Matchsticks. So to contour, I will be using the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. I really like this palette, which is why it's in every single video we made. Now we're gonna bake so we don't crease. I will be using the, the Kat Von D Brightening Powder in the shade Golden. This bitch really pulled out a box. I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. It looks like so. so. Gotta make sure, oh god, <clears throat> gotta make sure you get every corner, every creasable spot on your face. So now we're gonna move on to the eyelashes. I got some basic ass eyelashes mainly because I wanted the look to peek through. I'm gonna take the Kiss Sultry underscore A. They look like this. I, on the contrary, mm. you have a problem? <laughs> Won't be dramatic as well. I'm going with the bustier. Lashes by Kiss. But before I do that, y'all know the drill. I gotta do my lashes first. So I'll be curling them and using the my Rosa Avocado Oil Mascara first. Now I'll be taking the Maybelline Mascara, the Rocket, I believe. To stick my fake lashes with my real lashes, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. For my bottom lashes, I'm also going to take the same mascara. So now we're going to take the baking powder off. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to take some tea and mango together. For my lower lash line, I'm just going to use, use the brown from the Morph palette. And then I'll be using the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline on my bottom lashes. I'm gonna take the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in Black Magic. I'm gonna add another layer of the mascara. I'm gonna go into Lemon Soda, which is this bright yellow, and I'm gonna put that into in the inner corners. 
Oh, girl, I love this. Yellow was just what I needed. Oh, bitch, that's pretty. So we're gonna move on to the bronzer now. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Longwear Matte Bronzer for medium skin tones. I'll be taking the ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer in Afternoon Delight. So now we're gonna highlight. You know, can't go to no concert without your highlight popping. You, if the light's shining on you, you, you want to shine it back. You gotta yeah. shine ten times brighter up there, you know? Mm -hmm. Brighter than my future. Anything's brighter than our future, honestly. I'm gonna take the ColourPop Luster Dust and Strobe Glow. I'll be taking the Makeup Revolution Sun Kiss and Golden Kiss. So we're gonna go on to the lips, right? I know I used this in my last video, but I really wanted to go for a more nude lip. So I'm gonna take the NARS Rose Cliff Cliff Lipstick. I'm just gonna be lining and then adding a little color with the same lip liner. My top lip is kind of uneven, so I kind of want to even that out. I'll be using the Rimmel London Lip Liner in Natural. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine in Fuel. Looks like this. You know to wrap this look up. You wrap it all up and set it so it could last throughout the whole night. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be using the Milani Make It Last 16 Hour Wear Setting Spray. I'm gonna take the same one Urban Decay All Nighter. So this is the final look, you guys. Getting ready with us for this Sam Smith concert tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of how we got our face like this. I hope you used some tips that we gave out and some recommended products that we used. Don't forget to like and comment what you like, what you don't like, what you wanna see, what we did wrong, what we didn't do wrong. Hit that notification bell to know when we, you know, posting. Might not stick to that Tuesday and Thursday schedule. We got a little tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and add us on Snapchat. Keep subscribing. We have made it up to nine subscribers so far. Hope you guys recreate it. See you guys next, next time. A peace out.